Hello guys, in this video tutorial we will tell you how to add the editor feature. Log into your account and go to your business dashboard. Next click on manage app and you'll be redirected to the overview page. Next click on edit under the edit, test and go live section. Now to add the added editor feature click on the add feature button in the sidebar. Then click view all and search editor. Click on the feature to add it to your app. Once you added the feature, you will see the feature listed in my features section, where you can edit, customize, and organize your added features the way you want. Now hover over the feature and you, you will have options to show hide the feature, edit and customize the feature, delete the feature, and move the feature. Now let's check out what all you can do with the newly added editor feature. Click on the pencil icon here to edit and customize the feature. This is your page or feature name. If you want, you can change it as per your needs. From here, you can change the feature icon. If you want, you can select a solid icon or an outline icon or an image from a library or upload your own custom icon. You can even upload two different images for the mobile app and website. Let's move to the content section now. This is the body field where you can add customized content and change the text formatting as per your needs. With the rich text editor, you you have an option to control the appearance of your text. Now here you will see the rich text toolbar which has icons for editing and formatting your text. You can even use the editor to add images and make the editor page exactly the way you want. Next, enable the in-app browser navigation toggle and let your users have navigation control such as going back and forward and also for refreshing a page. Once you are done with the current content section, you can start changing the layout and color scheme of the editor feature. Click on this color palette icon here to change the page style and color scheme. Click on the background icon and select an image from the, from, for the bat page background. If you want, you can select an image from a library, solid color, or upload your own custom background image. Next, set the page elements, color, the way you want. Now let's move on to the in-app purchase section and enable in-app for this feature. Click the in-app settings icon in the side menu. Then under in-app settings, enable the in-app toggle and provide the necessary credentials in the required fields. Please note you can enable in-app for both Android and iOS. For getting the credentials, you can click on the question mark icon and refer to our tutorial. After providing the credentials, you can use them as global credentials by checking this checkbox here. Please note, you can also add new credentials if you want. Once you're done, click on save to save the changes manually or directly click the publish button to see the reflection of your latest updates on your mobile app. That's all for now. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to get the latest updates as soon as they are live.